Well, back to the weather again. Bitter cold is gripping much of the country, and it's hard to believe, but another massive storm is headed for the East Coast, and this one might stay for a while. Fox News meteorologist Rick Reichmuth is at the Weather Center. This, do you love this kind of stuff, Rick? Like when it gets bad weather, are you happy about it? Okay, I mean, I love interesting weather, and I snow is certainly fun, but I mean, I think like most of us, you hit a point and you don't want any more winter. I'm certainly at that point as well, along with everybody. But I, take a look at these temperatures. This is what happened overnight. We were cold all the way down across parts of the south and really cold across the northeast. But 12 degrees. I mean, it's incredible cold temperatures for New York City. Currently, it feels like 14. It feels like zero in Burlington. It could be worse. I always like to say that, put it into perspective. Uh, and over, look at the temperatures in the next couple of days. We actually warm up a little bit. We get to 40 in New York by Sunday, 31 in Boston. Monday, drop maybe a couple degrees. Uh, but we're going to stay in that 30s range for the most part for everybody. And then we have this storm that you're mentioning. The cold air obviously in place. We're going to see it warm up just a little bit, though. And we're going to watch kind of this storm track settle in here and a disturbance not really move very quickly. And that means we're going to see days of snow. That said, lighter snow. And mostly we're going to be talking from around New York City and Long Island south. It's mostly rain mixing in with snow at times. To the north of that is where we're going to see some more consistent snow. So you take a look at what the models are showing. We threw on two of our different models that we look at, and you see they're pretty consistent, maybe three inches for New York, Buffalo uh, getting around a foot possibly, and Boston by Tuesday, maybe seeing another foot of snow. A foot, not that big of a deal, but when you already have four to five feet on the ground, that becomes problematic for you, certainly. Mm -hmm. Want to show you also, Cheryl, out across the West, we have been so incredibly dry in California again. San Francisco has not seen rain in 43 days. That just changed today. Finally got some rain. We're going to see that rain all the way through uh, the weekend for them, which is some good news for them. Rick, I thought of you on Tuesday I was, or Monday. I was sitting outside at our home uh, state of Arizona. It was 72 mm -hmm. degrees. <laughs> Not winter everywhere. I mean, that is kind of what can happen in winter out there. But they've been incredibly warm and enjoying it. They yeah. need the rain. They could use some winter. They're not getting it right now, unfortunately. All right. Rick Reich with the Weather Center. Rick, thank you very much. You bet. All right. Fellow Arizona guy. Well, let it snow. Let it snow for profits as the East Coast prepares to hunker down for yet another winter storm. For investors, this could be an opportunity for their portfolios. Joining us now is a man with skin of the game, James Janik, Douglas Dynamics Chairman, CEO, and President. James, I have to say, first and foremost, your stock performance, really impressive, more than 40% jump over the last year. Was that due to last year's bad storm, or, or were we anticipating a bad winter this year? Well, I think it's a combination of a variety of things. Uh, primarily, last year's very um, strong winter really leads to the business that we're, we enjoyed in 14. But I think we're also seeing an excellent weather pattern taking place here in February, which should also help the stock price. Okay. So how does this winter compare that we're in right now? I mean, I know you're looking at the sales totals right now for plows, you know, uh, salt laying equipment, things like that. How are, how are things right now for you? Sure. Thing, things are still very strong, although the, the year tends to wind down for us beginning the middle of January, uh, as people are now beginning to think more about the following year for snow. But uh, this, this weather is terrific for service parts and accessories and really sets us up for a nice year this coming year. What about the numbers and the things that kind of factor for you behind the scenes? I mean, whether it's oil prices, whether it's uh, the materials that go into making the plows, things like that. I mean, we've had a very volatile commodity market over the last really over the last three months or so. Does that affect the business? Does that hurt you or does that help you? Yes. Uh, the drivers of our business are really quite simple. It's, it's snowfall, it's uh, truck sales, and also some of the commodity prices. So from our perspective, everything is flashing green right now. Oil prices are very positive for us. Uh, the lower oil prices are, the more pickup trucks are sold. And also the, uh, the input factors are less expensive for us, and they are for our customers as well, who are the, the plowers and the salters and sanders. So um, right now is, is is really everything flashes green for us. Who, who's your main competitor right now? Because we, we talk a lot when we get these big storms about companies like Generac, Generator Makers, but who is your competitor? Sure. We have a number of competitors in our industry. Uh, the primary competitor after Douglas Dynamics with probably half the market share of us, it would be somebody by the name of Boss from uh, the Upper Peninsula. And then after that, it falls off to a lot of uh, very sm uh, relatively small competitors. Okay. What about 
I, I'm gonna laugh. What about you know cities across the country? Obviously, there's been a lot of, um, of pressure on uh, the mayor here in New York about the, the fact that he didn't plow uh, last year uh, with our first major storm. But you know, what about cities, mayors? Do, do you have lines into those types of businesses? Because you just made an acquisition that I think may make it easier for you to work with cities around the country, or at least those that, that get affected by heavy snow. Correct. Up until this point, our primary business had been commercial snow and ice uh, removal equipment, and we've been the market leader in that uh, segment for North America. We just purchased Henderson, which is the leader in the municipal market, so we get much more insight into what the cities are doing. And typically, the, the city's budgets are for snow and ice removal are one of the last to be cut because large snow, snowstorms have a huge impact on commerce and, uh, you know, tax revenues. So clearly, from, from the perspective of cities and states, it's one of the last things that they'll cut and uh, tends to be relatively strong, even in a poor economy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, his name is Bill de Blasio. Give him a call. Uh, we're getting another major <laughs> storm. Here we come. You know, it's, it's our lives here in New York. James Janik, Douglas Dynamics Chairman, CEO and President. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.